my name is Kimberly and I am from Sunshine Writing School and today I am joined by Beowulf who is a teacher at Sunshine Writing School and Hugh who is an apprentice at Sunshine Writing School and what we wanted to talk with you about for the very first time is the Burley Horse Trials. Now as many of you know the teaching staff at Sunshine Writing School regularly go to Burley every year and when we're gone that is when y'all have the last hack of the summer. Burley Horse Trail starts on the the 2 to the 6th of September 2020. We thought rather than tell you about Burley per se because if you want to know what happens at Burley may I recommend that you go to Burley Horse Trials TV, um, look on the BBC, you will find a lot of the clips of the things that you can see and the things to do there. What we thought we would talk to you about is the bits that don't get covered when in, regarding going to Burley. And the first thing that we decided we would talk about is actually deciding to go to Burley. Oh God. When you make that decision to go to Burley, the very oh first thing you have to do is decide where you're going to stay. And the fact is, is that you need to make that decision now, like over the next two weeks, because hotel rooms are booking up for next September this week. You need to try to find a room with a friend, a friend of a friend, your cousin, your uncle, your grandmother, the person you might have uh, been talking to on Facebook or Instagram for a long time and ask them if you can camp at their place. The point is, is that rooms for Burley in the hotels are difficult to find. I know from difficult personal... To pay for. Big pardon? Difficult to pay for. And difficult to pay yeah, for, yes. No. Um, well, the money. Yeah, forever the money. Um, the fact is, is that if you wanted to stay in Stanford, forget it. If you wanted to stay in Oakham, forget it. You might get lucky in Peterborough. Possibly Leicestershire. Possibly some of the small B&Bs in Leicestershire. Uh, maybe Grantham. But you are talking about on the Saturday that it's you, possibly 60 to 80 competitors, and about... 250,000 of your closest friends. You could also do what we did a couple of years ago and wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning to drive two hours down the M1. Yeah, you can do that. It's we not... did that? Yeah, we did. When? Uh, 2004. So, my best suggestion is to get your hotel now. Um, the next thing is getting your tickets. Oh, no. Yes. Turn down the last box. Now... Tickets become available in April, usually somewhere around the 25th of the month. And it is a well-known joke in our family that I sit over the telephone with all the numbers dialed except the last one, waiting for 9 o'clock on the 25th of April to happen. And then I hit it. But the one thing about tickets is that if you're wanting to go for more than one day, your best bet is to get a membership. Now, membership is dear. I'm not going to lie to you. It's expensive, but it is 100% worth it. Money. Yes, money. So membership comes with the membership area, um, which has a very, very nice posh restaurant, which Hugh didn't realize until this year did not come with the membership. I thought that because the membership was so amazing, the buffet came with the membership. It did not. It was more money. No, yes. It might be worthy of consideration for people who aren't massively wealthy or massively into horses, or both. So, but we're going to get on to talking a bit more about the money um, a little further on. But the one thing about the membership, like we say, you've got the you've got nice toilets, which is really important. You've got the members buffet, which yes does cost ah. fifty pounds per person, ah. and. But you also get the most important thing, which is parking. And parking right up close. You're not going to find yourself having to park in Wittering. 
um, or, Bill's or, Gate. or Bill's Gate or any of the other small towns in the area with a four mile walk to get to the event. So parking is really amazingly important. Um, we tend to get pretty close to front row parking when we're there, but then we also tend to get there very early. The other thing that's really important to realize also, and this is why you want to get your tickets as quickly as possible, is the show jumping on Sunday is not included in your membership. So you will need to buy separate show jumping tickets. Um, and these are not necessarily cheap. We got really lucky last time. We Make got sure very, you know very lucky. Exactly who's going to the show jumping so you don't have your cousin unexpectedly asking if she can join in and then you being too good natured to say no and then having to see if anyone couldn't make it that day so sold back their show jumping tickets. But then the grace of God came <laughs> <laughs> and we got show jumping tickets. Um, one of the things to realize is that when it comes to the show jumping, you want your tickets in the north stands. Okay? That's really important. Most people don't realize where to sit. Also, if you were sitting where I was, make sure you're wearing sunglasses as I got the glare straight in the face. Yeah. Uh, I want to widen this up. I want to say thank you very much for putting up with us. And we hope to do more of these in the future just to try to give you some straight information um, about things that you might enjoy being able to do in the future. So, take care and thank you very much. Bye.